Okay, we're building a large stormwater pond, and uh, we've got some pretty cool, standard but pretty cool erosion control measures uh, we're using on this. So I wanted to document some of them. You can see the scope of this. We've got another couple of weeks of work to get it finished and it is now September 1st so rains will be coming the next couple of months so we need to get this stabilized significantly stabilized with a, enough grass growth to prevent any water quality impacts and uh, to allow the contractor to to finish up and leave the site pay him off and not have to collect and pump dirty water uh, or haul it off site. This pond is uh, going to be lined. You can, they're setting up for the heavy plastic liner over here. So it'll just be lined up from the top of the road, a little bit into the road, uh, keyed into a trench, and then down the slope and keyed in at the base. So that's the inside. The top, uh, to this road area will be hydro seeded and from this area which is actually the emergency overflow that will receive uh, geotextile fabric and quarry spalls from that point back and around the road will be graveled. On the uh, outside of the pond, the, the outer slopes, these are the areas of concern for water quality and why we need to get the grass growing quickly. Uh, we are surrounded by wetlands here. Let me walk back over. So this entire area, you can see the orange fence, safety fence, that's the uh, outer edge of the wetland. So there's about a, there's a, probably a five to ten foot offset, but, but the wetland is back in that area. The original plan called for a ditch along the base of the entire slope. So all the way, all the way along the road edge and around like this, all the way around to the other side, there's a low spot down at the base of the, the uh, slope over here. There's a low spot where the water would enter a cross culvert under an access road and go into a constructed stormwater facility, larger. It's a regional detention facility. Well, it's one of those things that looks good on plans, but the base map that was used originally for the uh, to develop the project was an old base map or topographic map, which was incorrect, turns out. So it isn't possible to get water to drain from this point all the way over to the low point here. There's the ditch or the, con the, the ditch actually goes like this. So what we've done is made some modifications in the field. So now the water is going to drain along the road here. And where we hit this concrete uh, footing, foundation, or concrete block, that holds the guy wires for this tower, we've had to take the ditch on the other side of it. So we've had the contractor realign the ditch over into the vegetation. You can see the rock. They, they rock lined it, did a nice job. So that's going to flow. For the most part, the rest of the area, we eliminated the ditch and we've allowed, we're going to allow water to sheet flow, except for a couple of low spots. And here's one. Uh, it's a natural spot to let any water that does collect to uh, sheet flow into the wetland area. So that, so that area is rocked. There's one other area like that. And then again, over on the other side, over here, there is enough ditch line and slope to get water to that low spot. We have, uh, I've allowed the contractor to remove the silt fence. This here is old silt fence, but the, the, all the silt fence that contractor installed at the base of the slope, I've allowed them to remove so that we can get the topsoil graded and uh, not have and, and then hydro seeded next week and not have to go back in and tear things up to remove the silt fence. 
So it's a little bit risky, but willing to take the risk to get a better overall job. We have uh, included in the contract addition of nice imported topsoil. It's a three-way mix of composted yard waste, sandy loam, and a screen sand. So this is uh, it's nice stuff. There's about a three-inch layer that then has been track walked. And again, this will be hydro seeded next week. Bonded fiber matrix we'll use. The fertilizer is pretty much straight nitrogen because the soils in this area already have enough phosphorus and potassium or, or potash. So we're just going to use nitrogen to get the grass to grow real quick. Contract did not include wattles to break up the slope. So we did a uh, change order construction bulletin to install uh, coconut logs, these here, which are actually from another job that we did, and these are left over. So it's coconut fiber with uh, polyethylene netting or, or uh, poly netting. So those will be installed on this contour. It's this, for this elevation, it's elevation 290, it turns out. And we've had survey come in and set stakes along 290. And then these folks are digging a little slot trench for the logs to be laid into. And then the logs will be staked. This kind of log, is it's almost impossible to get a stake down through it. You have to drive rebar through and then put the wooden stake. So we're having them put the stakes down through the netting on the sides, one on each side at each end and in the middle, so six stakes per. And then they'll be butted up tightly against each other here. So that'll break up the slope. Uh, the elevation 290 is not quite halfway, but uh, it's, a, it's a good, it's a three to one slope. It's not real steep, but again, it is pretty long and there is a wetland at the base. I mentioned uh, the ditch that didn't work. You can see from about this point over, the ditch actually will drain over to the far side. Contractor is talking about irrigation if we need to. Uh, we should start getting some rains in the next few weeks and as long as we get the grass, the bonded fiber matrix, grass seed and fertilizer down soon, we should be okay. But we do have possibility of setting up a temporary irrigation system if needed. So our standard is 80 percent grass cover to call a site stabilized. This one will probably go a little bit uh, a little bit more stringent just because of the risk. Got a great contractor on this job, been uh, really proactive and uh, real team oriented, really been working with us, we've been working with them, find creative ways to, to make this work. So I'll probably do another video later on in the year just to kind of do a follow up of this and see how this actually has turned out see if I still got a job after after this one